We are live at five. Welcome in, everybody. You are here with your lovely Sean. It is day three. Roberto T, good morning. You're already in, bro? Wow, you're killing it. Good afternoon to you, or good noon, or good day, Roberto. It's good to see you, good to hear you. Guys, we're going to get crazy today, okay? It's going to be an hour full of fun and laugh out loud hysterical comedy. I'm kidding. We're just going to talk for the next 50 minutes about whatever it is you want to talk about. So come on in, say hello, get on in on this magic carpet ride of English, and let's see what we can produce, all right? All right, I got a nice trio coming on. Johnny, come on in, thank you. Hi, Anna from yesterday, it's good to see you again. All right, so guys, what's the day like? What's going on in, in your neck? Oh, Clara, come on in. What is going on in your neck of the woods? I don't know if you guys have ever heard this saying used before, but I like to use it always. Okay, and this is just another way to say, guys, what are you up to today? What are you doing today? How's the weather? You can tell me anything. So what's going on in your neck of the woods? Most often people respond with this. Nothing. You? But that's not how you guys are going to respond. You guys are going to tell me some amazing things. I can just feel it. Flavia, come on in. Federico, excellent. Come on down, you Romans. Okay, Andrea, killing it. I love it, guys. So what's going on in your neck of the woods? Ask your friends. Ask your partners. Heck, ask your dog. Okay, he could tell you something. I have to tell you, they say that in quarantine right now, the this is the best time to get a pet animal. So... I'm thinking about it. I really want to get a dog. I do. I do. I, I mean, now that I'm home, it might be a really good idea. Um, have you guys thought about getting any animals or pets? Could be great. Ha ha. Okay. So your views, guys, dog, cat, parrot. If I get a parrot, at least I know it'll talk back to me. That could be cool. But I really don't know. Okay. I know that some of you guys are around Milan. I see that we get from Viterbo, Rome. We got Bologna. I'm part of it. It's sunny. Beautiful day to go outside. I love it. See? So this is what you need to do. Clara, you need to virtually... Go for a walk. Oh, look. Look at that. You know, did, did you see that bird fly by? Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. You can wave hello to your neighbors, you know. I got to tell you, this time is wonderful for creative people. Because we're not crazy. We are creative. Remember that, everybody. Okay? So, we got Claire. She's over in... In Parma, Renata, accent, here you are and here I am. Come on in, Renata. I love it. Johnny, he's having a great virtual activity. <laughs> like yoga on streaming, Maya's lessons, aper aperitifs it, with video. Wow. Can I consider my flatmate as well as my pet in these days? <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, could you? Please, please, yes. Okay. Renata, you're from Parma. Very good. So we got Clara and Renata from Parma. Anna, the weather, I know. Anna, it's a wonderful day in Milan. Guys, I'm thinking about sunbathing, as in open my window and just let the sun come in. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. Dedicate at least a good 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> and it is a perfect day to stay home. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, excellent. So for you guys, okay, I don't know if this thought has come into your mind. Clara, it already has because she treats her flatmate as a pet. But I've been thinking about it. A pet. 
would a pet be a good time in my life? Hmm. 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 I don't know. Oh. Anna, I am so jealous you have a dog. I think I would love to get a puppy. It would be so great to have a little cuchulino, have a nice little dog, have a little puppy running around, peeing everywhere, making loud noises. Him and I we could bark, we could howl, ho, oh, it would be fantastic. Don't you guys think? Huh? It would bring out the wild in all of us. So today, as you guys are coming into your midday, your afternoon, think about it. You already lived for six hours, okay? I have to tell you, Roberto, you're crazy. You do workouts. Afternoon, I make remote aperitif. Everyone's doing this remote aperitif. What 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 application do you guys use to do this, uh, these little aperitivos? Do you use, like, Senor Vino aperitivo? Do you use, like, Zoom? Do you use, um, I hear of a thing called House Party. What application are you guys using for these aperitifs, eh? Um, but it's good. You guys are being creative. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so right now, Renata and Clara are killing it with considering people their pets. And yes. I would consider that for sure your pets. So you have four pets, a cat, a husband, and two children. All right? Exactly. But Clara, don't think like that. There is no normal time. Right now is normal time. Okay? So we're, we're going into the month of May. We're still going to be at home, most of us. So it could still be a great time to get a pet, all right? Oh, you guys use Skype, Zoom. Excellent, very good. Very good. So, R Roberto, you consider your, your growings, your earthlings, your apricots and seedlings as your pets. Good job. I'm glad you're taking care of things. Okay. What's up? Yeah, I heard that too. Flavia, you read the same news feed as me about it's going to expand to eight people. It's going to get crazy. Okay. What's up? I heard. Okay. Yeah, that will be really funny. Oh my God. I can see all of these 30 year olds and people just running around. <laughs> In the apartment building. That's hilarious. We use WhatsApp normally, alternately FaceTime. Okay. You're 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 a traditionalist, Roberto. I like that. I can respect that. Hey Lole, coming on in. You're joining a great chat. I mean, I got I got chatter boxes today. Okay, all of you guys are a bunch of chatter boxes. Okay. Let's see. Currently in, oh, you're smart working from home. I have wonderful days with my cat. Look at you, Andre, killing it with your cat, okay? It'll be a challenge to organize it secretly. She lives in the room there. Yes, you're gonna have to do a lot of messaging and nothing by voice, okay? That's my suggestion, all right? She's done very playful and funny. It makes me really amused <laughs> these days when I play. Exactly. See, it's great to have a pet. Andrea, you made me feel like it is fantastic to have a pet right now, guys. Yeah. No, Roberto, things are happening. WhatsApp, everything is evolution. It's, it's a, we're in a revolution right now of technology. WhatsApp, we can have eight people. Things are going to get wild on WhatsApp, okay? So thank you for, for commenting and participating. It's, it's great to hear from all of you guys. Um, today, we're going to focus on a little thing that I like to call skills and talents, okay? So before we get started, what do you guys think is, or the real question is,
That's the question. All right. So leave a comment down in the boxes in the chat so that we can understand what it is that really makes you tick. All right. Long live evolution. Thank you, Roberto. <laughs> okay. So today we're talking about talents and skills, and I want to know what is your secret talent, everybody? Okay. And it could be strange, it can be goofy, it could be serious too, if you're a serious kind of person. But I think that today, in this time, I'm sure we're finding a lot of secret talents. Okay, maybe you never knew you were such a good cook, or maybe you never knew before that you really knew how to destroy laundry in the washing machine. Okay. Or maybe you're really good at juggling. Okay, maybe you, after a quarantine, you're going to become a circus clown. Who knows? Okay, but please tell me what you guys think is your secret talent. I think my secret talent is doing webinars, but that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, what a clever one you are, Renata. I love it. <laughs> I think my talent is to be able to study anything. I have difficulties only in English, but this is not a secret. <laughs> okay, to understand the men. Wow. So, Christina, are you trying to say that you know how to manipulate people? Oh, my goodness. What am I thinking? Okay. For sure, Clara, that is definitely a talent. All right. You're making people smiling. Okay, Ra, I'm joking. I think my talent is understanding people. No, but I like the other one. That was very clever. Okay. That was that was clever. Okay. Johnny, it's a secret for me. I haven't found it out yet. That's okay. Maybe today we will discover it, Johnny. Roberto, I can't tell you my secret. What secret would that be? <laughs> you guys are, are very, very into participating this morning or this afternoon or wherever we are. In these days, I discovered that my talent is the con consistency and the steady. It's consistency. Very good, Loli. Is the consistency. And let's see. Clara, I make people happy and smile. It's a talent, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Look, what we say is, for example, people who tend to make others smile and happy are very bubbly, okay? So you could say that I'm a very bubbly person. Um, a bubbly person is someone that just really is always kind of light, okay? And that's a really good talent to have. Um, but thank you very much for your comments, guys. I love you guys are very clever today. And I have to watch out because you all will get me in trouble. I can feel it. So today what we're going to talk about together is we're going to be looking at discovering talents and skills. We're going to be sequencing phrases, so understanding how to put things together. And we're going to be teaching a talent. So maybe, okay, for example... Renata, you might have to teach me how to understand people because I don't understand anybody. And Johnny, you might have to teach me how to not understand what my secret is. Okay. Oh, and Flavia, for example, I'm cooking and baking a lot. That it is something that I usually don't do. So tidying the house as well. Actually, so you're also getting down. I will tell you guys, my house has never been so clean, okay? Thank you, quarantine. It's amazing. I don't understand why. It's like spotless. You can, I, what we say is when something is so clean, and I know this is gonna be disgusting for all of you. Sorry, quarantine effect. 
the ole of ban our social restrictions that is a very good talent that i have to tell you that is one difficult thing that nobody really really understands okay empathy oh that that's that's all you have to do just have empathy thanks we're not a, okay and when something is so clean we say that you can eat off the floor okay I feel it. Yeah, I feel those pro this the positive um I feel the positive vibes. Okay. I learned cooking. I I learned I learned how to cook, all right? A piece of bread. And you enjoy that piece of bread, all right? Excellent. So it's similar. Okay. Uh -huh. My second set Talent is to create new recipes just using food that I have. Okay, so you like the fact, Anna, of being, um, you like the fact of being uh, restrained in order to create something delicious. Okay, like limited supplies, but maximum production. I like it. Minimum space and maximum raise. <laughs> All right, very cool, guys. So, I love it. Clara's right. You guys are spreading some awesome vibes here in the chat today. Okay. So let's keep it going. Um, when we talk a little bit about talents and skills, we have to talk about what do we think is a talent and what is a skill? So a question that we often ask, and I would like your opinion, is what do you consider a talent? Do you think there is a difference between a talent and a skill? Is a talent something we are born with, or can we learn a talent? And do you or someone you know have an unusual talent? Okay, so now we have to brainstorm what is an unusual talent. And the last question, are there any talents that you wish you had and why? Okay, so maybe choose one and describe it for me. Give me your reason, okay? Roberto, I love it. Not to make hasty decisions, all right? You're not a quick decision kind of guy. All right. You only says that it's to not reduce the wrath of our current condition. Okay, I like this. Very good, Flavia. Maybe a talent can be considered something unnatural. Skills can be improved with trainings or or courses. So and I think what you mean to say is talent is something that is is natural. It's given to us. Um, I think you're trying to go more for that sense of like, like it's given to you, passed down through generations after generations. And correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, Clara says, I think that there is a difference. Talent is something we are born with and skills are learned. Okay. Yeah, because there's a natural born talent. There's a natural sense of something. A talent is what you have naturally, while a skill is what you develop in practice. Very good. Okay. And the difference seems that we can get our abilities with experience. Excellent. So we can build skills. Okay. But maybe you have a specific talent that keeps you and makes you different from the rest. Trained talent is innate. That it is. Very good. Innate. Okay. Very good. So innate, I think, is what Flavia was searching for. It is within us and must be pulled out. Okay. Very good. Just like pulling teeth, right? Should be pulled out of you. Oh, my baby. Oof. Okay. Excellent. So now that we understand what a talent is, um, Exactly. Okay. So now that we see that talent is something that is natural and our skills is when we develop the talent. So how we blend our skill and our talent together is what helps us to identify 
what is really inside of us. Okay. So, um, so what you guys believe is that we're born with talents and the skills are how or what helps us to learn the talent inside of us. Okay. Now, do you guys know anybody with an unusual talent? That's the next question. So we know a lot of usual talents, like good at dancing, good at sports. But what about, for example, for you guys, what is an unusual talent? All right. And also very good. So you guys are pretty much, you guys are all set on the fact that a talent is something you're born with and a skill is something you develop. But not everyone, you know, maybe my talent is to be untalented. Do you guys think that's an unusual talent? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? And let's, while we're at it, let's respond. If you could have any talent, which would it be? Okay. So I'm looking for guys from you, unusual talents. And if you could have any talent, which talent would you, would you, would you want to have? Okay. <laughs> that was fantastic um yeah I, I, you know to be honest with you you're asking the wrong person because i think i am very loose on the definition of unusual talents and i would consider studying with pleasure an unusual talent for sure okay very good maybe reading quickly for example, to just see in a few seconds one page and understand immediately the okay, that's just genius, Flavia. I do not have that talent. Okay. Unfortunately, I learned to go with a vacuum cleaner in the house. New capacity thanks to married life. So now I have to go. Oh, bro, Roberto, come on, man. You can webinar and vacuum, bro. It's called multitasking. It is the Multitasking is what we call talent of the talent. It's, it's the gift from the woman. The woman is a marvelous multitasker. Men were not that developed in that section, guys. Okay. To discover is to celebrate when it occurs. All right, very cool. So you only maybe, you know, as soon as you find something, you celebrate it. Okay. All right, Roberto, fine. You have a good day, brother. It was great to see you. Uh, it's a bad skill for me. <laughs> fine. All right. So all you multitaskers that are still out there and still following this webinar, please continue with your comments. All right. What skill would you like to have? Or what talent would you like to have? I think my talent would be able to read minds, huh? That's a talent. Or maybe, maybe, by Roberto, or maybe um, a talent. Hmm. For example, can you guys think of, what is this? Can anyone do that? Okay, what about, can anyone do that? Wow, excellent. So you are a hidden closet organizationalist. Excellent, okay. So you, Claire, you're, you're focused and centered on language. Language is the talent you want to hone in, okay? Okay. 
and I'll throw this up on the chat for you guys as well. So whenever you master something, you hone in on something. Oh, excellent. And Clara, have you been uh, painting in this time? Uh, I can tell you, for example, Oh my goodness. Um, Clara, if you have, for example, I use some different applications for painting and drawing because I can't make a mess in my house. Uh, it's called Autodesk and Concepts, fantastic applications for drawing and painting, okay? Renata, you are keeping it up, girl. I'd like to be invisible to escape from time to time. <laughs> Okay, like Harry Potter, the invisible cloak. I gotcha. Okay, I would like to be able to draw and whistle. You can whistle, Anna. Try this, okay? All you gotta do is put your lips together like you're kissing somebody, like this, and then just you have to blow over your tongue. Okay, so Anna, try it. Tell me if it works. Okay, there's also one that you put down here, I can't do it, but it's a vibration. Oh, that one's crazy. I would like to have got in the past better digital culture. <laughs> I do have got in the past better digital culture. <laughs> Y'all, I agree with Clara. I'd like to, to hone in on speaking more languages, okay? So hone in, hone in on is our phrasal verb, okay? Hone in on i love it <laughs> but it doesn't matter if you're talented or not oh, guys it's the fact that you just got to do it all right you got to love it you got to run with it okay very good and i admire my cat who was able to escape from the flat and run on the roof yeah that's pretty cool okay that is pretty cool but even for example for you guys for for the ones that want to paint and want to draw or anything like that, there's so many YouTube videos. There's so many things out there um, that we can just, you know, follow in this time. Um, I'll give you guys a tip. You know, whenever you're drawing or painting, you just kind of have to keep pushing it, okay? If there's one thing that you want to start doing, you guys might like the fact of touching the paint, all right? I like touching the paint, but because I can't make a mess in my house, I chose to do everything virtual or digital, okay? So even maybe, for example, picking up a nice digital pen, okay, is something great to help you guys utilize your skills, okay? Exactly. We just got to give it a shot. I feel like that's a song. Got to give it a go. Just got to try, all right? Don't stop, won't stop. All right, so now, for example, let's talk about what are you good at, okay? So I now this is the time to really, what we say, ruffle your feathers, all right? Raise your feathers. This is a time where you can really kind of talk highly about yourself, okay? I want you guys to tell me what you're great at, what you're brilliant at, what you're fantastic at what you're terrible at, what you're hopeless at, useless at, or lousy at, okay? Um, so I want you guys to ask each other and to respond first off. I want you guys to tell me what you think you are good at or not good at, okay? So this is a time to kind of blow yourself up, all right? Fill up yourself with some hot air. And what I'm going to do with you guys now is I'm going to share with you another, okay? So looking here, let's see, looking at this list, what are you good at? Lousy. Great question. So it's just to be really, really cross your eyes. 
Okay, wiggle your ears, wink your left and right eye, say thank you in four different languages, say your name backwards. Ergoro wash. Snap your fingers, whistle your with your fing whistle with your fingers. Oh, that's whistle with your fingers. Rub your stomach and pat your head. All right. Yeah. And count backwards from 20 in English. Okay. So what hidden talents do you have, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh, Flavia, you just got to try it. All right. So I'll give you some examples. We have, uh, we also have this one. And watch, I can switch. See, so you can pat your head and look at that. Uh huh. Um, and now, for example, what we see is whenever we talk about these different these different uh, traits or skills that we have, we say after at, very good Anna, okay? So this is the kind of example that we're looking for. The verb will always be in gerund, okay? I'm lousy at whistling, I'm brilliant at crossing my eyes. I like it. Ooh. Okay. I can't snap. Okay. I cannot snap, guys. Do you know how to snap? Can someone teach me how to snap? Because I'll tell you, I can clap, but I can't snap. It's a horrible life. It's a horrible, horrible life. But it's okay. You're you're getting there, okay? Slowly but surely, okay? Uh, just try, it, okay? Start one at a time. Rub your stomach, rub your stomach, and then ba -ba -da -ba. maybe put a song in your head. You know, last night a DJ saved my life. Uh, you gotta you gotta add some sugar to it. Don't be afraid. Okay. And whenever we're describing us, just remember I'm not coordinated okay i'm bad at manual labor i don't even change a little light bulb help but can snap but oh but you can i like it i like how you say manual labor it's almost like what you're saying clara is i don't like doing anything that involves me working <laughs> it's fantastic i was gonna say you're like my brother he doesn't like manual labor at all okay uh -huh. Um, what about, for example, can you can you wiggle your ears? Because I'm pretty sure I can. I cannot. <laughs> okay, and Yole, just to be accurate, I can't even count backwards. Okay. Even. Okay. I can't even count backwards. I can snap my fingers, great, excellent. Okay. I've just discovered that I'm very good at counting backwards from 20. Look at you, Andres, see, you got it, bro. That's what's up. See, we're finding your hidden talents today. Now, bigger challenge, count backwards from 50. Boom, look at that, wild, I know. Mm -hmm. What about, for example, say your name. Can anyone say their name backwards? Arapk. Eloel. No, 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 no. Fly, we fly. No, it's okay. We can think about something else. All right, like um, 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 like putting on clothes. Huh? You're good at putting on clothes, right? Or this is a pro drinking water, huh? It's a big skill to drink water because often 
I have a hole in my mouth and the water just falls out, okay? I'm able to cross my eyes, but I turn, <laughs> I get dizzy. <laughs> okay, you got, it's all about the little things, guys, all right? Maybe it's like, for example, I can turn on my phone. That is a talent, okay? So I'm able to say it backwards. Good job, Yola. I'm glad that you got it. I'm glad that you got it, okay? That's not a DJ, save my life on the dance floor. That's not a DJ, save my life. Last night a DJ saved my life on the dance floor. Last night a DJ saved my life. So we also got excellent. See, Renata, this is ways to boost our confidence. I bet Flavia, you're pretty good at shopping too. Don't be humble, huh? Don't be modest. Willing the ears. What a terrible task. It's difficult, man. I mean. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's just too difficult. So now what I'd like you guys to do is we're going to explain the sequence, okay? So looking at some of these different things, we want to put them into their order of starting, continuing, and finishing, okay? So when you've completed all the steps, the first thing you do is the next step is to, before you begin, the best place to begin, the last step, once you've done that, then in the end, and when you finish that, then. I tried in the past to whistle with my fingers, but I failed. Another thing, guys, something very interesting that, that I've come to realize, you never fail, okay? No one here in this list of people is a failure. Therefore, go in peace. It's okay. You'll let you, you tried in the past, but you just stopped, all right? You didn't fail. You just stopped. You got bored. You went on to something else, all right? Oh, this is a good one. Her, her nostrils. I like it, okay? Yeah, I knew someone would appreciate Renata's talent. I know. And Yola, I, I won't lie to you. This is a secret between you and me. I didn't admire my schoolmates. I was jealous of my schoolmates who could whistle with their fingers. I was jealous. So looking here, guys, we're gonna, I want us to get into the form of beginning to ask and kind of give me an, a sequence. So you guys are gonna have to teach me your skill. So for example, Renata, Please share with us how you developed this talent of shopping, okay? So here we have our list. We have for phrases for starting out. The first thing you do is before you begin, and the best place to begin is dot, 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 okay? Whenever we're continuing, we say the next step is to, once you've done that, then, and when you finish that, then, okay? And whenever we're finishing, when you've completed all the steps, the last step is and in the end, okay? So here we have one of my favorites is French toast, okay? I think everyone should try French toast at least once in their life. And it's not a baguette, it's the American French toast. So here we have the list of ingredients. <laughs> that was fantastic. I love it. And then case closed. All right. Very nice. Flavia and I thought that was very funny, Renata. So whenever we toast,
cook the bread for about two minutes on each side, and then we serve with maple syrup and enjoy. Have ladies. So looking here, this is our sequencing. Okay, and what we want to look at now is before we get any further, before we move on to the next competition, I want to ask you guys, do you have any comments, any questions on some of the vocab in how to make French toast? Or is it pretty clear? For example, stale bread is old bread, okay? Um, whenever you beat, you guys understand, beat it, just like Michael Jackson. Just. And you don't need any cooking tips, okay? now is we're going to spend this time to talk about your talent okay i want you guys to think about what talent that you have that you can share with each other on the chat we want to brainstorm the talent is how you learned it okay so how you develop the skill and how you can teach someone else to do it so what we're going to do is you guys are going to briefly explain your talent you're going to explain how to how you learned how to do it, how they might do it, how they might learn it as well. Excellent. So to soak is basically, Flavia, is to put the bread inside of a liquid. So when we soak, for example, think of a bathtub. You soak in the bathtub, okay? Okay. So in this sense, Flavia, we can, what you do with uh, Pavesini is you soak them in rum and coffee. Okay. Um, when we talk about, for example, if you make a marinade of chicken, a chicken marinade, you soak the chicken in the lemon or marinade sauce. Okay. So soaking is anything that you put your, your, your material into a liquid. Okay. So now, Ladies, let's get into sharing our talents, okay? Oh, Renata, thank thanks for coming and sharing your day with us. Uh, you have a great day, and we'll see you soon, okay? Thanks for joining us today. I really wanted to know what her talent was, guys. So guys who are still with me, please share with me your talents, okay? Tell me how you learned it, how you, how you discovered your talent too, okay? Um, for example, I will tell you about mine while I'm waiting. My talent is in music, okay? Um, oh, before I talk about music though, I want to give Flavia some other examples. So for example, soak is for liquid. And I want you to remember soak up, okay? Because soak up is our phrasal verb that we often use for. Or especially whenever we go to the beach. Okay, so for you, Flavia, you can also, you can say soak whenever you're talking about ingredients. But whenever we talk about experiencing something, we want to soak up, okay? So I really want to soak up this webinar. I want to absorb it. I want to enjoy the webinar, okay? So the example is to soak up the sun, and therefore, you can enjoy the beautiful weather. I'm soaking up this day. It's a great, I'm soaking up this experience, okay? 
So I will tell you about my uh, talent, maybe, and you guys can share with me, okay? So looking at talent, I would say that my talent is music. I love making music. And what is funny is I discovered that I liked making music when I was about 13 years old. And you only know, soaking and melting, melt is to do with heat. Soaking is just to do with some object in water, okay? So for example, ice melts, cookies soak in milk, and then I eat my cookie, cookie and milk, okay? Okay, excellent. So Flavio, you got something on. Okay, so you're a little, you're a little green thumb, huh? A little green thumb. I like it. I have read a few articles and blogs, but the first things is to have patience, yes, and to be constant in taking care of your plants. Okay, very good. Exactly. It's very. I have to tell you, I'm a black thumb. Uh, any plant I touch usually kind of just dies but gardening is a beautiful thing i really have a high respect for gardening and plants and understand i would love i would love to grow vegetables and everything but i just i don't think i have patience to be honest with you so thank you very much um so what about other suggestions guys what about your talent um a clara very cool All right, so Clara, she loves cooking. When she was a child, around the age of four, uh, her mom and her would always put your hands in dough, okay? And she told you to play, see? So that's the beauty in life as well. It's whenever you find a thing to play with, that's when it really becomes an exciting uh, passion, okay? Because your talents can fuel your passion, okay? And the most... The best way to learn anything is through play. I agree, hands down. Okay. Very good. Who else? I can tell you guys that for anyone who's interested in music, um, today it's so easy. Even if you don't know music theory, you can pick up a little keyboard and play and something will happen, okay? Uh, the whole point is you have to, my suggestion is first you have to do some research, just like gardening, just like cooking. You have to find what you're interested in. After that, you can just, you, you just have to play, okay? Just like Clara's mom told her to do. The more you play, the more it becomes a part of you. The more you can, and that's the coolest part is you just want to make everything firsthand. You want to touch it. You want to smell it. You want to taste it. You want to play with it. And that's the whole thing for us. If you like painting or drawing, you have to, you have to just take away any kind, kind of criticism or any kind of logic and just play, okay? The most beautiful thing, especially in the time that we have now together, guys, is we have the time to make mistakes and play and express ourselves. So fall in love with the process. That's the most important part, is you just have to fall in love with the process. Go ahead. Okay, so, and add something, sand, and the other thing I like, and then I glue an image completing with colors that my fantasy suggests. Very good, Clara, that's fantastic, okay? And that is the perfect way to begin and finish a painting, okay? So great. Great ideas, guys. You guys did a phenomenal job today. Uh, I want to thank you guys all much for participating with me. You made my hour so much fun. I look forward to seeing you all again. I hope you all have a very great day and enjoy the sunshine while it's out. Okay? So you all have a lovely day, guys.